My name is Aida Lugo McAllister, author of Aida's Kitchen, Alo Boricua, a bilingual Puerto Rican cookbook. I am going to demonstrate how to cut, peel, steam, and package our calabaza, known as West Indian pumpkin, for recipes that call for mashed pumpkin or pumpkin chunks. The calabaza is an essential food source to our diet and it is rich in vitamin A. The West Indian pumpkin is very popular in the Caribbean, Central and South America. In Puerto Rico, the Taino Indians cultivated the Caribbean pumpkins and were known to add pumpkin pieces to the stewed beans to thicken the bean sauce, a tradition that we still follow when stewing our beans. Today you can purchase whole pumpkins or pumpkin wedges at the Latin markets. I grow the West Indian pumpkin in the Midwest. Let's go to Ida's garden to check out my Caribbean pumpkin. This is a vine that contains a Caribbean pumpkin. It will be ready to be harvested at the end of next month in October. Let's go back inside to demonstrate how to cut and peel a whole pumpkin, our calabaza. This is a West Indian pumpkin known as calabaza. The skin color can include green, orange, or tan hues. The shape can be round or oblong, and the size small or large. For this demonstration, I pre-cut a pumpkin wedge in advance. To cut a pumpkin wedge, insert a knife into the pumpkin and slice from top to bottom. This is a West Indian pumpkin wedge. These are the seeds and the strings. The flesh is firm and bright orange with a sweet flavor similar to a butternut squash. Remove the strings and the seeds with a spoon or a knife. Peel the pumpkin wedge by inserting a knife between the flesh and the skin. Cut the pumpkin wedges in halves. We can now steam and mash the pumpkin wedges as well as placing the fully cooled mashed pumpkins into plastic containers. We are now ready to steam the pumpkin wedges that were cut in halves. First, add sufficient water to steamer, making sure the water is below the steamer basket. Insert steamer basket and place the pumpkin chunks the steamer basket will hold. Cover with lid and steam the pumpkin chunks for approximately 20 to 30 minutes or until fork tender. During the steaming process, the pumpkin wedges were checked with a fork for tenderness. Now that they have been steaming for 30 minutes, let's check again to see if they are tender. Yes, they are. We can now place them in a bowl. Mash the steamed pumpkin 
with a potato masher. Continue this process with the remaining steamed pumpkin. The mashed pumpkin has a beautiful orange color and a creamy texture. Fill a two cup plastic container with the mashed pumpkin. Place a lid and store in the freezer for future use. Continue this process with the remaining mashed pumpkin. Let's now demonstrate how to cut and package the pumpkin chunks using small plastic bags. Cut the pumpkin wedges into one inch to one and a half inch chunks. After cutting the pumpkin wedges into smaller chunks, I place them into snack bags. Each snack bag will hold at least four ounces of pumpkin pieces. We love to add pieces of pumpkin to our stew beans to thicken the bean sauce. The snack bags are then placed in the freezer for future use. I place at least eight snack bags of pumpkin chunks into a gallon plastic bag and store in the freezer. When a recipe calls for pumpkin chunks like our beans and soup, I remove a snack bag and add the frozen pumpkin chunks to the saucepan. When a recipe calls for mashed pumpkin, like our flan, pumpkin soup, or pumpkin fritters, I remove a plastic container from the freezer, place it in the refrigerator to thaw before incorporating into a recipe. I hope you have enjoyed watching my YouTube video on how to cut, peel, steam, and package our calabaza. Thank you for watching my YouTube cooking video. Please share, like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you would like a copy of my cookbook, visit my website, idaskitchenboricua.com, and click on the cookbook tab. My cookbook is a bilingual Puerto Rican cookbook, and it contains 42 authentic Puerto Rican recipes that I learned how to cook while living in Puerto Rico. This side is the English version. If you flip the book over, the other side is the Spanish version. Again, thank you for watching my YouTube cooking video.